This reading is for Sagittarius for July 2018. Hi, all Sagittarians. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my repeat viewers. Welcome to my new viewers. Thank you for coming and seeing my reading. Welcome to all the Sagittarian sun, moon, and rising. Welcome to all the cross viewers. You're absolutely, totally, completely, and without a doubt, welcome here. Everyone, please feel free to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to be so. Um, it's free. It's free to subscribe, so feel free to subscribe. There. And it helps my channel out, too. It doesn't cost anything, and it helps my channel out, okay? So, subscribe, like, positive comments are always appreciated. I want to tell you all, I appreciate all of you, every one of you, all of my subscribers. I just, you know, I, I appreciate the heck out of you, and I'm so glad you're in my universe. Welcome to my channel. And I hope we have an excellent reading for Sagittarius. If the cards resonate for you, please take them. Take them and use them. Follow their advice. Try to do what they're telling you to do. If, if it feels, if it's pulling on you, go with it. If it doesn't, if you say, that doesn't sound like me at all. I don't know what they're talking about. There's always that possibility. It's not really the one for you. You might try your moon or your or your rising sign, one of the other signs. Ah, it's hard to tell. But this one is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Also, I sometimes forget to say Venus. I apologize, Venus, Planet of Beauty. She gets a little bit upset sometimes, but we're all right now. So, that being said, let's see. What we can do here for Sagittarius for July 2018. Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius to be aware of July 2018? What should Sagittarius be aware of in July Ooh, of 2018? How many cards do we have just to... All right, we'll take them. See, that's first. That's a cross. Okie dokie. We are ready for Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you for the clarity. Thank you for the, for the relevance. Thank you for what we need to hear. Thank you for letting me say what needs to be said. Okay. What fell out here? The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Mm -mm -mm. The Ten of Cups upright is the culmination of all the emotional fulfillment. Every little thing that you ever needed to emotionally fulfill is the Ten of Cups in, in upright. In reverse, not so much. You've fallen short of your emotional fulfillment goals. And here we see that this might possibly be the reason why. This is the Seven of Swords. He's the card of the sneak. He's a spy. He's a thief. He steals things unwisely. But he has no compunction about stealing things at all. No problem. No guilt. No compassion. Okay? That's who you're dealing with there. In the past, in the distant past, Sagittarius. The Five of Cups in reverse. I don't know why I turned it over. I just wanted to, I guess. The Five of Cups in the upright is crying over spilt milk. You're crying over that which is, has gone and cannot be recovered. But there's still a couple of cups behind you. In the reverse... You stopped, you stopped crying over it. You stopped worrying about it. Okay? I'm going to do the rest of them face down. There's our recent past. This card crowns us. This card's to our future. Sorry about that. Alright, the 
sensitization of our fears. The environment, the surrounding, what is surrounding us, can also be the way other people are seeing us. This is our hopes, our dreams, our desires. And this is our final outcome. Is that just one? That is just one. Felt thicker. See what's on the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is, an, is a card indicating that you could be changing residence. Or you're getting a message about changing your residence or a job. You could be changing jobs. You could be changing jobs, changing residences. This is the overall uh, energy. The Knight of Wands is a fire card, but this is the overall energy of the reading of the month. Let me check the cards, make sure we're in camera. Ah. Oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah. So keep in mind that the overall energy is a, a change of your residence or a message about changing your job or changing your residence. You're going to change some situation in your life. That's what the message is about. Here in the past, you've had the Five of Cups in reverse. And that is indeed getting over the spilt milk. It's just, it is what it is. Perhaps accepting and being resigned to the way it is. Let's see what the near past was. Ah, the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Cups in reverse would indicate someone who is ordinarily passionate and loving and sweet and and sometimes dashing and sometimes uh, a little bit inconsiderate and it turns him into someone that's more not. He might still try to be charming and dashing and whatnot but he's not considerate. He's kind of rude and he could the energy is a rude energy. It's it's an inconsiderate energy. It's a non-loving, non-loving energy. That's your recent past. Hmm. This is our present. Well, right now we have the Four of Cups in the present, in reverse. The Four of Cups in the upright indicates daydreaming and missing opportunities and boredom and whatnot. In the reverse, we're more focused. We're looking for opportunities. We're trying to find opportunities to seize. Let's see if we can find one in the future. Wow. In the future, it's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Fortune is not turning our way at the second in the future. And I wonder why. Hmm. Well, we'll go back over it. This is what we fear. Coming out of stagnation. Stalemate, the two of swords is a stalemate. In the upright, in the reverse, it's got to be coming out of, of a stalemate making a decision, moving forward. That's what you're afraid of. That was in your position of fear. <clears throat> so that's what you're afraid of. You're afraid of coming out of this. You're afraid of making a decision. You're afraid of moving forward. You need to move forward. This wheel of, wheel of fortune in reverse does not bode well for you not moving forward. One way or the other, the, the wheel of fortune is a 10. See, the 10 is an end of a cycle. Yeah, upright or in reverse, X is X, it's 10 is 10. Um, it's still an end of a cycle. It might have ended badly. You might have to cut your losses. You might have to just say on it and, and move on. It's just a 10 is a 10. Let's see what your surrounding environment says. 
Yeah, your surrounding environment's the Nine of Swords. Uh, the way people see you, the way your environment's surrounding you. That's a card of sorrow. It's a card of sadness. It's a card of drawing into yourself, taking to your bed of, of you know, illness. You might, you might even be, get a little bit sick there. Be careful of your health. Watch out for your health this month. Of course, you need to anyway, because it's July and it's hot. Oh, your dreams, your wishes, your hopes is the Three of Wands. You want to push something out. You want to push something out onto, to get something going. And you, you want to, to launch a business. You want to launch a relationship. You want to push something out to make it go forward. That's, this is your dreams, is to just get going again. You don't really want to start from the ace. You want to start from the, the three. Maybe you're thinking you need a partner. Maybe you're wanting a partner. I don't know. What's our outcome? What's the final outcome for the month of July 2018 for Sagittarius? The Hermit. Yeah, you need to go within. You need to go within and see what it is that you do want so that you can reset your light, so you can reset your goals towards something that you can accomplish that you actually want. And, and part of this it would seem to me is changing your your direction is changing your residence is changing your your job your position somehow here you're going to have a big change in the way your life is going the hermit card yeah it's, it's a going within it's card number nine if you go within well, before the Wheel of Fortune smacks you in the head, maybe you can turn it around. Because here you have daydream in reverse. So you're focused on something, evidently not the right thing. Okay, we'll start in the past. You had the Five of Cups in reverse. You were, that's not crying over self milk. You had spilt milk, and you said, I'm done crying over it. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm out of here. I'm going to ride away and be the Knight of Cups and be just as mean to everybody else as they were to me. And inconsiderate and nasty and inattentive. And now you're going to refocus. You're saying, well, that's not getting me where I want to go. I thought that's what I wanted to do. But that didn't work. That didn't work, so now I've got to focus again. And I don't know what to focus on. Maybe I just won't focus on anything. The Wheel of Fortune brings an end to the situation. Whatever this situation has been, the Wheel of Fortune will bring an end to it. The end of cycle. It may not be a happy ending, like I said. It may be unpleasant. It, it, but it's going to bring an end to it. It looks to me like your home life got upset by the Seven of Swords in the beginning. You were crying over spilled milk. This is a sneak, a thief, a spy. You thought you had the Ten of Cups, but you really didn't. This person stole it from you. And when you got done crying over the spilt milk, you decided to heck with it. You pushed forward. You pushed forward, but you didn't get it right somehow. Somehow it did not come out correctly. Because you got into the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe you started taking on some of his characteristics. Or maybe that is you. I don't know. I hope not. 
I hope none of my Sagittarius's are spies or sneak thieves or any of that stuff. Because I just hope not. That's not a good way to be. See what happens? <laughs> anyway, the Wheel of Fortune is going to bring an end to all that. And you're going to be, like I say, maybe not a good ending, but it's going to be an ending. And even though you fear it, and you, you, you fear moving ahead, you're going to have to. You're going to have to take some time for yourself to rest before you can achieve your hopes and dreams. You're going to have to go inside inside of yourself <coughs> it may call for meditation it may call for go to the doctor if you're ill go to the doctor um, you can rest in the hospital before you can push this stuff forward though you're going to have to have some kind of a stability you're going to have to be in decent health you're going to have to be in mental health you're going to have to be in physical health, and you're going to have some sort of a change of residence or a change in, in a position of some sort. So you're going to be moving. Moving away, moving towards. It's all the same. When you move away from one thing, you're moving towards something else. So there you go. In this case, the Knight of Wands is moving towards the Three of Wands. See See how he's moving up there? And the hermit says, okay, come on, I'll light your way. And that's the way it looks like in July. So, you know, go within to heal. And also, if you need to, of course, always seek a physician to help heal you. But the hermit is always a, a, an alone card. You need time to heal within yourself. So good luck with that. I hope you have a lovely July Sagittarius. Please be careful. Be safe. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.